Hi everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another beautiful reading which is going to be for all of you out there who really want to know what is it that your soul really craves for you to know? What is the soul's message for you? Probably you are doing something and your soul doesn't feel happy about it. Your soul has a message for you and this reading is going to help you know that. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well. And you can also book uh, for a uh, palm reading as well for yourself if you are interested in that. So you can reach out to me on my email ID and yeah, let's dive into the read and let's see what is it that your soul craves for you to know and work towards to get what you want, to have the wishes fulfilled love life or work life or home life. Let's see, what is it that your soul wants you to know? Let's find out your soul's message for you. Okay, I'm going to include this. Then let's see what else do we have. What else is your soul's message? Okay, so we have a few more. Uh, I think that's good enough. So let's start with the first card first. Let's see. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Now, for majority of you, the divine really wants you to bring your focus back onto yourself, your health, your mental, physical, emotional well-being. For majority of you, maybe you are so occupied with what you truly desire outside of you that you're forgetting your inside job. So I really feel like you know the divine really wants you to bring your focus back to your health, back to yourself, back for back to your well-being more than anything else. So let's see what it says. If my body could talk, it would say dash. What is it that it is going to talk to you about? Probably you're not feeling good. Probably you're not like, you know, taking care of yourself. Probably you're not taking care of your uh, hygiene. Probably you're ignoring your yourself uh, or thinking about other things or doing the things that that probably satisfy other people. What about you? What about yourself? What about your body? So today's sole action that you can do is feed your body with what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. For instance, you can start gym. You can start, you know, working out at home. You can start, um, you know, uh, getting into your healthcare routine. Uh, you can start taking care of your your hair. You can start taking care of your, you know, you can start getting done with, um, you know, many petty or something. You know, do something that satisfy your inner soul and your body as well. Maybe you have been taking a lot of care of other people around you. It's time for you to love yourself. It's time for you to nourish yourself. It's time for you to nourish your soul. So that's what your soul message is, number one. And let's see the other messages. How can I deepen my trust right now? So for majority of you, probably um, you're so concerned about, um, you know, what if things don't work well for you? Um, you're fearful, you're finding hard to have trust in anything right now. Maybe you have been cheated on, maybe you have been hurt, you might have been feeling left out at the last moment or something like that. It's hard for you to trust right now and your soul really wants you to listen to your intuition and start building the trust in yourself first. First step can lead you to have that confidence where you, whatever decision you make for yourself, you have a trust in your, in them yourself first. So let's see what, what it says. Trust and surrender. Now for some of you, probably you're all doing things because you feel like you have to do something to get something out of it. Now, it's very important for you to set your intention and then forget about it. You believe and have faith that everything is going to take you forward towards what you want and then you surrender. You don't you don't kind of like question how, when, this, that. You just allow things to happen. So what the divine wants you to do is trust and surrender right now. Try to have some faith around things that you desire. Trust the process. Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. For instance, if you have a desire, for instance, for a specific someone and you believe like, you know, oh, maybe I can never have them because I'm not worthy of them. Maybe they don't value me. Maybe they don't love me. No, 
when you want something you have you have to build your trust and faith in that that yes you can have it yes it is something achievable yes this is something that you can easily get so try to build that trust in yourself trustfully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others trust tree creates safety and we feel when we see when we feel safe we feel unstoppable so it's very important right now for you to feel safe within the given situation you know for instance if your person is not giving you the commitment don't get kind of panic attack around it try not to let that affect you so much so that you start spoiling your connection with your specific someone have faith trust the process surrender believe that yes they are all yours when you have that strong faith you will feel safe being with them you will not have the fear of the unknown fear of the future so try and understand that so today's soul action that you can do is let go and trust for instance if you're willing to get married or have a relationship that you truly desire in terms of uh, not with a specific someone but overall you desire for a marriage so how do you go about it you just trust that it is possible you're gonna meet the kind of person the life partner that you desire and it is possible then you feel safe because God is going to bring you closer to that person and Keep affirming that everything that I do, everything that I, every step that I take is getting me closer to my life partner. If you use that as your mantra or as your affirmation every day, you have no clue how beautifully everything is going to work out well for you because that's going to be your focus, that everything is leading you to your life partner and exactly how you want your life partner to be. So when you have those beautiful thoughts, beautiful energy, well, something that you are going to experience. So make sure you do that. You are going to be unstoppable when you start putting your focus on the good things. So today's sole action that you can take is let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourselves so you can deepen your trust in others. So that's what you need to do. Let's see the next card. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? For majority of you, maybe you're occupied with so many things happening right now in your life and probably you're cluttering your mind with so many thoughts which are unnecessary. It's time for you to declutter yourself, take some rest, take some time off from worldly pressures, give yourself some time to yourself. Spend some time with your na with, with yourself, with nature, with, well, you know, be out in, 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 in um, you know, any, any, anywhere close to the nature. You know, maybe you can, you can sit under the sky, you can uh, sit uh, on the grass for some time, you can walk in the you know in, in, in a park or something you can just be sitting next to the water body um, give your time to yourself right now try to not overwhelm yourself with so much happening in your life right now that you start feeling oh uh, kind of like you know uh, anxious or panic uh, around you know what whatever that is happening in your life right now try to relax try to restore yourself by or your energies by spending some quiet time with yourself and with the God that you believe in. You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. So it's very important right now for you to stop chasing after certain things that you are chasing. It's time for you to relax. It's time for you to give your time to yourself. It's time for you to regain the, 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 the energy enough where you can you can start like you know feeling good about yourself all, all over again again taking care of your body is very important here take a bath put on some lavender essential oil go to bed ridiculously early to or give yourself a time out today notice your body thanking you so today's mantra that you can use is the more i give myself permission to rest the more I can contribute. So allow that rest to your body. So you could think through things, you can make up your mind, you can have certain major decisions made by giving and spending time with yourself. So the last card is, to whom am I comparing myself right now? So let's see what it says. What are you able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out. Now, for some of you, if you believe that, oh my God, look at them, they are having perfect relationship, why not me? So this is something which is a reflection that you can also have that. So how do you get that? It's time for you to shine light on this feeling of not enough and the see the truth. All that you need, all that you want is within you. So if you want to be loved, if you want to be in a committed relationship, you can have it too. You have to start believing it. It's like, you know, um, 
something that you can achieve too and it's a, it's a sign from god itself like you know that whatever you're seeing you can have it you can be it so why not you see it that way instead stop comparing your life with other people be thankful for all the good things that you have and focus on more of the things that you desire and believe that you you can definitely living those you know dreams of your life so stop comparing and start creating. So use your time well, use your thoughts well to create the life that you desire. That's what your soul really wants you to know and do right now. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.